Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Psychology Network. Today's topic is McClellan's Theory of Motivation. You would find this in Unit 7 of your Psychology Syllabus booklet of UGC Net. So let's get into it. There are three components, need for achievement, need for power, and need for affiliation. We'll start with need for achievement. So the need for achievement is the behavior directed towards competition with a want to be the best. The want to be the best. Whatever the person is doing, whatever the work the person is undertaking, the person wants to be almost the best, at least in the first uh, few ranks. He wants to be in the first few ranks. That is the need for achievement. This is the drive, the drive to excel, uh, to achieve uh, in a relation of standard. If the standard is best, he wants to be as close as that standard. So there are some characteristics of a high achieving person. Now, what are the characteristics that he might have a strong desire to assume personal responsibility for performing a task? Now, what does this mean? This means, suppose there is a problem in the office. Uh, the manager announces, okay, this is the problem. So if there is somebody who has a high need for achievement, there definitely would be somebody with a high need for achievement. They would go out of their way to perform that task, perform that problem, which the manager just uh, said it aloud. So as they assume this personal responsibility that they should be doing this because they can do it best. Uh, so high need achievers also tend to set moderately difficult goals for themselves. Suppose somebody is going for a competitive exam. Suppose there is a competitive exam. Now, some people you would hear saying that they want to just pass. But some people are like, I want to come first in this exam. Those few people are having a high need for achievement. High need uh, achievers also have a desire for performance feedback. This is mostly like if they have done a work, suppose in the college or university you have done a work, they have this tendency if their teacher would say that they have done a good work. But not just good work. If they have done a work, they want their performance to be reviewed and a feedback to be given by somebody in authority position. So if somebody has, suppose you're re uh, writing a research proposal, suppose, and this is your first time, and somebody with a high need of achievement would want to be writing a very good research proposal. So maybe that person has written it down and given it to the professor and the professor doesn't give any feedback, just writes it on the paper that, okay, you have to make that, that, these changes. So a high need for achieving wouldn't really like that. Instead of the professor is saying, okay, these are the changes you can make. Th this uh, analytical comparison which you have made maybe can be uh, done in another way. Uh, there has been some gap in the uh, literature review which you have done. Whatever it is, they want a feedback from somebody in the authority. Next would be the need for power. Now, one thing you have to remember, people get confused between need for power and need for achievement. They even ask me that both of them are almost same and overlapping. I say something which would help you to distinguish between need for power and need for achievement. Need for achievement is for themselves. They don't care what other people are doing. They, they just want to be best in whatever they are doing. That is it. But need for power is actually uh, concerned with making an impact on others. There is a desire to influence others. Now, this, is, this need for powers is... Uh, related between the person and other people. It's not on its own like need for achievement is. Need for power is relational. 
he wants to make a difference in people's life or he wants to uh, influence power or wants to change people wants to come up with ways to change people so it's always related to the other person okay so people who have a high need for power are usually having characteristics where there is a desire to influence or direct somebody else it's not related to the person itself it's related to somebody else they want to influence and direct somebody else now a desire to exercise and control they have this tendency to control you must have seen a lot of people like this who who always uh, is kind of persuading other people to follow his or her uh, myths uh, sorry mantras like he he is always persuas- uh, persuading other person to maybe follow cer- certain things which he, the person itself likes so they are always trying to influence and you know direct people so and there is a concern for maintaining a leader follower relationship so there is always this thing which they have is that there should be some kind of hierarchy there there is a leader and the follower is following the leader because you know from that if you are a leader you have this power over other people like the manager has a power over the employees who are working under him so this is the need for power now coming to the third one and the last one which is the need for affiliation so the need for affiliation is the desire to establish and maintain friendly and warm relationship with other people again need for affiliation is relational it is related to other people they want to be liked by other people they want to maintain friendly uh, relations with other people it's with other people need for power is also with other people but for need for achievement is just with themselves if there is a competition they want to come first it's with just themselves now need for affiliation can have these few characteristics which i have put it on the screen they have a strong desire for acceptance and approval from others uh in local um terms we use like people pleasing behavior so need people with need, uh, a need for affiliation has this desire that everybody accepts them everybody approves them in a group situation uh i wouldn't always say that a pe- pe- people having need for affiliation are people pleasing and such but they might have few tendency of it they tend to conform to the wishes of other people conform to the wishes of other people suppose a, a group of people are going for the movies and there's this one person who wants to probably uh, watch a romantic movie but the group is saying they want to watch a horror movie so uh, even though the inner wish is to see a romantic movie they say ki okay fine i'm going to see a horror movie with you guys because at the end of the day when you're conforming with the group there is acceptance and approval then comes they give value uh, they give value and feelings to the others so they are very social every human is a social being but they are very social with each other in the sense they they want that value from others uh, they want to be cared by others they but also they care for the value and feelings of of other people they want to be accepted in the group and consequently they also accept other people's feelings and they also accept other people with them so this was your need for affiliation now from this part uh, mcclellan's theory of motivation either direct question can come or question can come in an analytical way maybe they can say oh rahul uh, in a office gives out characteristics like these so which kind of need does he belong to okay something like that more analytical so uh, what mcclellan is saying is that people most people actually exhibit a combination of these characteristics some some exhibit a strong bias to a particular motivational need or some people mix one two uh one two needs suppose 
some somebody can have a high achievement motivation but they might also uh, have a need for affiliation maybe a need for achievement is here a need for affiliation is here but there is a mix between two so this can uh, happen this is what mcclelland is saying also what he says that uh, these needs and these this theory particularly can be applied applied to manage corporate teams by identifying and categorizing every team member amongst those three needs so if somebody has a need for power or a high achieving person maybe there is a group of uh, maybe in the office they, they are they are trying to do a project and they make three groups so in each group they put a high achieving person because they know this high achieving person uh, would help me um, do uh, this work in a very smooth way because maybe a lot of responsibility they are taking with the inputs of other people so this is how this uh, theory can be applied in the corporate world basically you know manager manager oh, sorry in a more office office like situations this theory can be applied now what he says that a person with a, a, a sorry a, a mclennan says that a person with affiliation motivation a high need for affiliation uh, affiliation uh, might not be such a great manager because that would dilute his objectivity because uh, their primary need is to be liked by other people suppose uh, the manager is given a uh, instruction by the higher corporate uh, corporate office that they have to fire this particular individual but their basic need is to be liked so he might not fire him immediately he might be he might not even say that person that there is this thing going on of uh, maybe firing you he might be delaying this job for weeks and months and years even and that would cost the company uh, financially so their need to be liked can affect managers decision making capabilities so somebody who has a very high need for uh, affiliation might not be a good manager maybe somebody has a very very high need for uh, power and power and achievement but somebody has a little bit um need for affiliation because as mclaren says that a person can have combination of these needs so that is fine but somebody who whose need is the highest need is affiliation motivation that might become a problem if uh, they are taking a manager role again a strong authority motivation will produce determined work ethic and commitment to the organization while a person like high achievement motivation uh but somebody who has high power motivation uh, sorry need for power need for power people are attracted to the leadership role they are definitely attracted to the leadership role because they can influence other people from that kind of role but they might not possess the required flexibility and people centered skill they might be so harsh uh, on persuasion on influencing but that managerial role might uh, or that any kind of leadership role also requires certain kind of a flexibility and people centered skills so somebody with a high need for power might not have that they might want to have that leadership role but ultimately they are not very good leaders then mclellan also says that a uh, need, uh, need for achievement a high need for achievement people with that sort of uh, need make the best leaders but again what can be the problem they can have a tendency to demand too much they are perfect uh, they are doing everything perfectly they want uh, to do in the best way so they might be very good managers at the end of the day but they might demand the same from his or her 
employees they might demand too much of their staff staff and the belief that they would all reproduce similarly but that is not so because everybody does not have this high need for achievement and this because everybody is not so highly focused or results driven as this person with high need for achievement is so even though they make the best leaders but again there might be some issues so this was all which you have to know for our metallin's theory of motivation i would say that remember these characteristics which i have put very well because uh, they can give a very analytical question and these characteristics are important for that so thank you so much for listening to uh, this presentation and please subscribe to the channel and please like this video so i can keep on making free content free content for everybody to hear it's um, it's free of cost for anybody to hear from pg ug or you are studying for your ugc net psychology exam so please like and subscribe to this channel so i can keep on making more videos for you guys